Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with this good friend, Mr. Adrian Hernandez. How you doing, sir? What's going on, everyone? Live, excited, full of energy. Students. There you go. So one of the things I want to do with you here is, is I want to play what I call ping pong, where we go back and forth, you go, I go kind of style. And our target audience are going to be wholesalers, right? Wholesalers are an important part of the business. Uh, many of them have had uh, great two, three, four years, been the perfect market. Uh, and I think it, uh, I think it might be changing. So if you were going to talk to a wholesalers, uh, what kind of message would you get them? You're the guest. You can go first. Uh, first advice to wholesalers. We have got to diversify our business. I made a post the other day saying, if you are just whole, wholesaling, if you are just flipping, if you are only have one source in your business that is driving revenue, I do not care if you are nationwide or not. I don't care if you're central or not. I really don't even care how many deals you're doing. You guys have to understand that unless we start to diversify and do more that is outside of wholesale deals, uh, as this market changes, we're going to notice a deep, you're going to notice a decrease in your net profit. You're going to notice a decrease in your deals. Um, and it's going to, it's, it's going to hurt you pretty bad. We got to diversify. I love that. Uh, I forget who brought it up. I think it was Ty, uh, brought up the idea of a hybrid agent, um, yeah. I think that's a big deal, right? It's really is being that entrepreneur, right? Multiple income streams, multiple options, being able to uh, take any lead and make sure um, you can get paid for it, whether it's from a part, uh, you know, sharing a lead or a wholesale flip, whatever it is. I think, I think that is awesome. Yeah. Uh, we call it the hybrid agent, hybrid wholesaler, hybrid okay. investor. I love that. Right. It's really, it's all of it. That's my yeah. advice. Yeah. I think that is something that, uh, the, the people that listen and take action are not only going to survive, but, but likely thrive. The people that don't, they get almost egotistical, like, you know, no, you don't get it. I'm the top dog and this and that. You're going to go broke, right? I, I, I've been doing this 20 some odd years. I saw people just like you in the last crash. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll check on you in about 18 months. Let's see what happens. So genius, genius way to start. The thing that I would tell a wholesaler today is... The next two years won't be like the last two, right? And what do I consider the, the last two years? Probably one of the best times to wholesale. We were coming off a bottom. Uh, you could direct market to people who may or may not know that the value of their house was going up. It was easy to create spreads. It was easy to comp stuff. You had a lot of, you had easy access to money. You could double close. You could use in non-QM. Lots of flippers cutting their teeth. Agents wanting to be flippers. It was a market where wholesalers really had a fat spread and frankly got fatter, right? Yeah. I, th I think wholesalers learned that they were given too much away over the last two to four years. Well, the market changed and I think the market's going to get hard. I think there are deals that wholesalers will lock up that nobody's going to buy because of this or that reason. Uh, I think your buyer, I would double check your buyer pool. Um, I would double check access to capital. Lenders get tight. They get scared. The whole world's going to change. And um, I really don't like it when wholesalers agree to a price and then don't close for you know bogus reasons. I think that hurts sellers. So I've seen sellers pack up U-Haul trucks and just stuff. It's just, it's the terrible part of the business. And if, if that starts to happen more and more, we will see regulation nationwide. Oh yeah, uh, We're already seeing in some states, it'll come if, if wholesalers are bad actors. So I would, uh, I would tighten up. Uh, and again, some of your marketing spend uh, needs to come in or at least done differently. I think the best wholesalers, kind of back to your first point about hybrid, it's not going to be all about cash. I think the last four years, it's all been about cash, cash, cash. And both for you and then your buyers were buying cash with you know non-QM a lot. But I think terms, I think being a wholesaler that creates a, a, a term-based deal, whether it's pre-foreclosure or whatnot, it gets paid five grand for connecting people. I think you're just going to have to, your talk track's going to be different. The pain points are going to be different. The, the sellers will be more emotional. Again, I've done this 22 years. I've seen a changing market. So I don't think wholesalers are ready, man. So I think building off your hybrid ideas dead on. Yeah. I want to emphasize your point on making sure we get these deals under contract correctly, because wholesalers, this is, this is really important. Um, there's already a bad rap for wholesalers out there, right? They, you, you know, some of you have not done a, a 
good job. Some of us have, right? Some of us have, uh, but some of, some of, some of you have not. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and, and all I'm going to say is make sure that as Uber said, you get the deal at a sellable price. Even if you don't make any money on it and you need to sell it just to satisfy the seller, that needs to take place. Your name, your reputation is way more important than you trying to make a thousand dollars on a deal. This is real. This, this is really important. Yeah. Cause if you don't, I, I, in two, I think, I don't, I think it was Ohio. I don't know. There was a state out there that now made it you, all transactions. You have to go through a licensed agent agent. It yeah. could go, it could disappear. And oh, if, I, if, if enough bad actors are doing bad things, uh, it'll happen. I can see it, which would lead me to my second tip is making sure guys that we are giving the seller more than one option. It, you know, for us, like it's not just a wholesale deal. If we can list the deal because it's going to make the seller more money, it's going to put more money in their pocket and that's what they want to do, then we're doing it. Yeah. But it goes back to point number one, wholesalers. If all you're doing is wholesaling and you don't have a department in your company set up for listings, you're going to miss out on that, right? Or better yet, just refer the deal to an agent, get paid 30%, right? And now you're going to notice they'll send you a referral for helping them out. Yeah. Exactly. So, and then also, as we talked about before, the sub two option, right? Making, looking at these deals and don't just look at them in the, in the, uh, of the blinders of a wholesaler. Can you sub to this? Can you find a way to sell their finances? Do they really need that money? Right. Or is the money going to sit in the bank? Yeah. The, the other thing that I want people to know about the next two years is the people that skill up get creative, push themselves to expand again to the hybrid. I mean, it was a great way to start are going to be the people that thrive. <laughs> it may not feel like it. You may not make here. This is what I truly believe. If you go the, the hybrid route, multiple avenues as a wholesaler, your income for 2023 will probably be less than 2021. Your wealth will be astronomically different. Because if I was a wholesaler and I learned sub two or pre foreclosures and I found way to make connections, my income could go down, but I will own assets. Assets appreciate with inflation. Your wealth could explode with what's coming. So I'll take that trade every day. Absolutely. So what's your last one? Well, for wholesalers, I'll piggyback off what you're saying. And uh, it's pretty important. Focus on your net worth, not what's really in your bank account over these next couple of months. I'll call, I'll call it years. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, then kind of the closing thoughts again, as a wholesaler, you are a vital part of the business. You are, you are truly, if you are doing it right, helping both sides, you're making connections. I would double or triple down on my network, right? Your network is always your net worth. I believe the next two years, you're going to see many people that you consider rock solid disappear or worse, get stressed out. When stress occurs, people do bad things. They do shortcuts. They lie, cheat, steal. Um, don't be that person. Don't put yourself in that situation. Your reputation, uh, you could easily burn your reputation, right? You are the number one top dog, blah, 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 did great things. You get stressed. Your overhead's extended. Your marketing's not working because you didn't change. You start doing bad things. You'll blow up your reputation. You'll be washed out. Yeah. So I would double down on your network. Keep networking. Keep finding the strong. Always keep adding. Again, I think the next two years, the people that thrive will be bigger and stronger at the end of it. Um, I'm now calling the next two years the economic forest fire. It's, it's, you know, get prepared, get out of the way. And then the aftermath of a forest fire is new growth and it's amazing. So it's all coming. It's this crashes in transactions is happening right now. So start to prepare, start to skill up. Yeah. Keep the mind positive, guys. Do not let this intimidate or scare you. Let this push you forward. Right. I'm I'm having a lot of really good conversations right now of people having their mindset is, is on right. Right. They know that this is the time of growth. This is the time to dominate. And then there's other people that are really scared. Do not be scared. Remember, fear can either hold you back or it can pull you forward. Allow it to pull you forward, guys. Keep your foot on the gas. The number one thing we can do right now is pick up the phone and find the next person to help utilize what it is that you know, put it into action. Thoughts without action or nothing, guys. I, I, I know you can do this. Let's get it. Come on, let's take advantage of this time. Awesome. And Adrian, where can people find you? At Adrian Hernandez, Instagram, same thing with YouTube. Appreciate awesome. you, brother. Thank you, buddy.